back to Sunrise Daily. Now we have His Excellency Ibikunle Amosu, the Governor of Ogun State. Thank you for coming on this morning, Your Excellency. Thank you. Well, this is uh, another investors' forum, but uh, the theme consolidating and then the growth uh, moving forward. But the question now is, um, how are you going to consolidate all of this when uh, you're in the twilight of your administration? Well, thank you. Let me warmly welcome the the Sunrise team of Shadows to Abekuta, the, the capital of Ogun State. Well, uh, you know that uh, government is continuous. No one person can finish it. Indeed, the framers of the Constitution knows this, and that's why they've given just two terms. But it will not mean that once I finish my own, then the person coming after me will not follow uh, suit. No, they will. Once it's a very good initiative, good program, good uh, foundation that we are laying, so I have no doubt in my mind that, yes, we are almost uh, going. I've even said that we are going to work on the very last minute so that our president so will be part of us. He knows what we are doing. He knows that he must continue with that good work. So, I mean, uh, this is the time that yeah, I sure must work. sure he'll be part of you. Oh, yes. I must work <laughs> hard more. You know, when you are running a race, it is when you get to the last, you know, they will ring that bell. When you are taking the last lap, that this is now, they need everything that you have in you. And that's what we are doing now. Yes, we have started, but they have not seen anything. The last year, which is where just, we are just entering, we are going to work more than all okay. that we did in the past seven years. I see now that you, you included technology in this particular one. What yeah. informs that decision? No, I mean, of course, even channels, everybody, the whole world is going, going digital, going tech, and we don't want to be left behind. We are Ogun State, mind you. We are the first to have access to Western education. And beyond all of those you've seen, we are the uh, education capital, industrial capital, Clearly now we are trying to be the, uh, the food uh, basket, the food hub of uh, even not just our zone here, but probably Nigeria at large. So uh, if we are going to get it, we must, we must uh, work smart, think smart in all, other sect in all the sectors, all human endeavor. Mm -hmm. People be, be, before now, if you want to search for anything, probably you'll be taking your dictionary or anything. Now, at the touch of a button, you're there. So technology drives business. Technology will make you achieve so many things. It saves time, it saves money, it does a lot of things for you. And that's why for us, we are bringing technology in the way we do our things, either in education, in health, in agriculture, even the way we build our houses and all of those. And in any case, what we call a good standard, of course, rendering service, the way we attempt to do our work. And we are, we are not just doing it alone because we know that we will come and just leave. We are creating very strong institutions as against maybe just a developing individual. You do. I mean, I'm governor today. Several people have been governor. I will come and go. But that is your call of state. That state will still be there. That's so, and that is why for us, we need to align with the world best practices. Yes, so, yes. You, you talked about, um, we've had your team talk about what's going on here. But I'm concerned about the environment. I mean, you have a lot of industries up now here. You have road constructions happening everywhere. And that means f felling of trees, that means expansions, things and nature is being hampered in one way or the other. What's the plan to ensure that there is restoration of the environment? No, what we are doing is we are balancing the art. <laughs> Don't forget that, yes, that's what you do. You, you strike a balance. You want development, yes. It's not important that, yes, you are cutting trees, I think, no problems, but you should plant more. If you cut 10 trees and you plant it, maybe 30, of course, it will make up for it. And the way nature is, once you plant a tree, you monitor it, you wet it, of course it will, it will be there. So there's no way we can run away from it. In any case, this is a good state that is known for developing green. We don't just want to develop. We don't want just to grow. I mean, our growth must be environmental friendly. And that's why we are looking at various options. I mean, people have been here, they've canvassed that we have alternative source of uh, generating energy, generating power. We're looking into all of those. We don't want to be the old day ways of doing things. In fact, nobody knew then when we cut trees, we do everything we never knew that will come to haunt us. So don't forget, and, and you know the effort that even my wife is doing. So clearly, even if I didn't want to look at that end, <laughs> you know that I just must. So every day, whatever we do, and that you will not see people burning anything here, I'll just shout to you, you cannot burn. This has been maybe 10 years, UN have said that nobody can burn. And it's not just for them, it's for all of us. Because clearly, people don't take it serious. Climate change, we don't even know the meaning before. But clearly now we know that these are things that will come to haunt us if we don't get it right. So for us in Ogun State, it is not just about development. Even our, some of our roads, and that is why today you will see that we will always be very deliberate. 
even in uh, all these agricultural uh, forests that we are running around. Uh, in fact, Ogun State is one of those few states that still have all these, their forests. We are trying to make sure that nothing goes wrong there. And that's why we are having all this uh, support from all our developing partners. Don't forget that at COP21 in Paris, we were there. Even I didn't go to Morocco uh, last year, they were there. And we enter into this agreement with uh, the, the UN and the uh, Aros, they call him R20. Aros Resinaga, the former governor of California, yeah. he has this initiative, we are part of it. We are collaborating with Lafarge. Lafarge has this uh, cooperation with the UN. So we are part of it and they are trying to uh, preserve, we call our forest, where they are planning to plant 100,000 of trees, 100,000. So, and that's what we're doing now. So clearly you know that we work our talk. It's not just that we are, we are developing, we are growing, not on mindful of our environment, we are. And even all of those companies that operate here, you know, we are the industrial capital of Nigeria. We talk to them, I go there sometimes, and I send all my people there that you should, I mean, think smart, work smart, even when you are producing, you produce smart, so that they have just a mission anyhow, whatever, no, we, prevent, we, we tell them no. There are still new technology, engineering solutions that either do when you see a big thing, but, but, but you'll be hearing the noise, smoke. No, just small thing like this is generating those facts. Excellency, so uh, those are the kind of things we're doing. Talk to us about, uh, because we've seen some of your commercials run on television stations uh, across the country, and one that has to do with taxes and uh, your, your call for people who live in open state to pay their taxes and that will help you to you know bring the dividends of democracy uh, one of which is the road that people say that you've been so passionate about what guarantees are there for instance for roads that 